with China. You know, the Wall Street Journal this morning is writing about this deterioration in trade talks, really raising the prospect of just two economies going in two different directions. And they go through these divergences because you're seeing things like American officials forcing Chinese investors to sell their stakes in American startups. Uh, the journal writes, Chinese scientists' visas to visit the United States are facing delays. So this is a lot more than just numbers in terms of import-export story. You're absolutely correct, and I, th I think what we see here is that the two sides are really um, not willing to make concessions on both sides, and I think this is really evidence that the president's negotiating tactics in terms of increasing taxes on the American people aren't working and haven't been working for over a year and a half, and we need to have other mechanisms. I mentioned before Treasury sanctioning individuals and companies. There's also other ways that we can address these concerns with China head on instead of around the back by putting tariffs and taxes on the American people. Well, I, I would say that this is the first time that we're seeing any president actually poke China and push back on China's behavior. Do you not agree with that, Tori? I mean, we haven't, China's been a bad actor for a long time. They've been stealing our intellectual property for decades, costing American businesses tens and hundreds of billions of dollars. This is the first time you're actually seeing a leader of the free world push back on China and say, we're not going to take this anymore. I think that's absolutely incorrect, um, Maria, and I say that because during the 80s, uh, the late 80s and early 90s, when China joined the WTO, they had to make significant concessions, mostly on the tariff side, to get access to the WTO, and there have been significant gains in making reforms in China. Now, I agree that those reforms have slowed significantly over the last several years. Well, what's incorrect but we about chi the Chinese the stealing? Reforms. What's incorrect about the Chinese stealing from American businesses? I don't think that there is any argument here that the uh, chi that some Chinese companies are committing theft from American companies, but the Treasury Department can do something to fix that. And it's not tariffs. It's sanctioning these companies and preventing them from access to the U.S. markets. So, you, so you'd rather see sanctions on these companies. Maybe that's the next move. But y you really haven't seen any discussion about this beyond, be, beyond what we're seeing right now. I mean, you hadn't seen this discussion in the last eight years before President Trump. I think that's uh, true to an extent. You've seen some um, what did you movements see under what, some what, movements what specific under, moves were made, Tori? Under the Obama administration, they did take some cases to the WTO against China. And let's be clear, when the U.S. takes cases against China to the WTO, they are wholly successful. We win like 90 percent of the time. And it's very effective, and the U.S. government verifies yeah. that China changes its behavior. We need to be doing more of that. We need to be having direct approaches to our, our questions with China. All right. That's why this administration's holding firm. Tori Whiting and Bryce Doty, good to see you this morning. Thank you. Coming Thank up, you. Uber is going public.